Good morning, good morning. It is mega awesome costume party at church. So I am in my Nevermore Academy uniform. That is so cool. I am home from church. I have changed. Um, and it, it was very good. It went very well. Um, and logging on for work. Um, I also got to post the first video for Elf. So I posted the first introduction video because I finally remembered to get Jillian to do her intro on um, Saturday. Thank goodness. Um, so that got posted. Oh my gosh, I'm typing in my password wrong. Anyway, also, two of my friends from the bakery asked me on Thursday if I was interested in coming over and watching the new Five Nights at Freddy movie with them, because they were like, you a horror person? I was like, not really. But I do admit that the movie is very interesting. I think it's very interesting. And um, it also has Josh, Josh Hutchison in it, who was in... Um, all the Hunger Games movies, which is interesting because I haven't seen him in anything in quite a while. Um, so I think I'm going to text them and say, hey, is that invitation still open? I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to go yet, but just to like keep the option open and see how I feel as I finish work, like energy wise. I swear I just washed my hair and it already doesn't look great. Um, like if I just want to chill or if I'm like, yeah, I could get out of the house and whatever. So I'm almost done with work. I have like half an hour left. Fun fact, Salt does indeed respond to his name. So I did not change it to Highland like I was meaning to and I will not be changing it because he replies to it now or he responds to it. And he comes running when he sees me. He still doesn't let me pet him, but he comes trotting right up. I put food out or I saw him walking um, behind my neighbor's cars but he was in the woods too far and he couldn't hear me when I was trying to shake his food and I didn't want to like yell his name. And so anyway, I came back inside and then I saw him walking across the opposite of my yard. So I headed out again and I went, salt. And he turns and he trots right over. And I was like, your food's right here. And he doesn't meow a lot, which definitely kind of encourages the fact that I don't think he's ever really grown up like he's never been in a home really like he might be used to the neighborhood people like feeding him because cats really only meow to communicate with people and he doesn't typically do that the only time he's ever done that is the very first time I saw him which was when he was out with who was Pepper and now I don't know where Pepper went um and that was over I think a year ago at least now um it was either him or Pepper meowing I don't know who it was one of them was meowing though and that's when I went outside and I was like what's wrong what's wrong um, and then, um, just, like, a few here and there, he'll, like, try it. He'll be like, eh. Um, but then as he was trotting up, he, like, meowed three times at me as if he was like, you almost forgot my food. <laughs> I was like, it's right here. You're fine. I'd like to clarify again, too. He does not, he does not let me get close to him like he he is comfortable within a certain distance of me, but if I go to move closer to him, he goes away doesn't run too far away but he does run away so he has no interest in letting me pet him or anything like that so it's not one of those where some cats that are really friendly and you're like oh no astray and you can just like scoop him up like he didn't he doesn't but there he is oh hang on there he is um yeah he has zero interest in me <laughs> getting super close to him. i also think he's the age he's definitely over a year he is clearly not a kitten i think when i saw him for the first time maybe he was an older kitten maybe seven eight months at the least um but he the older cats are the harder they are to socialize um with other cats and thankfully i think the neighborhood takes decent care of him um if I ever have enough time in my schedule where I could potentially trap him to at least go get him neutered and do a, a, a trap and release, that'd be great. But my schedule right now, I would just feel awful if he was then stuck in a <laughs> stuck in a crate for like, you know, or a trap while I was at work or something. And with how it stands right now, like I wouldn't have time 
to take him anywhere in between work or rehearsal. And like, I have no way of knowing if he would like on a Monday or a Friday, like, I don't know if he would do that, you know, like, it's just, it's difficult. Well, he's using my yard as a litter box, so that's to be expected, but, <laughs> um, I, um, anyway, so, you know, it's just very difficult for, and he could absolutely belong to someone around here. They just kind of let him roam, but I doubt that with how much he comes here for food. And obviously he was mad that I didn't have it out. So. Okay. Um, it is very late. <laughs> uh, it is 1239 to be exact. I got home like 10 minutes ago from hanging out at Cynthia's house with her and um, Chelsea because we watched, we actually watched the Five Nights at Freddy movie, like I said, um, which was kind of good. The beginning was okay. The end was okay. The middle was I don't even know what was going on there. Um, and the screenwriter wrote all of the female characters awfully. Absolutely terribly. Has no idea how to write women of any age, which is ridiculous. Um, and I don't even know how that got approved. So I kind of hate that. Um, but anyway, I'm heading to bed. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. On um, social media is in the description. Love you all.